Today we're gonna to learn how to make a non-toxic, all-natural dishwashing detergent. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah McFall of My Merry Messy Life, and I'm so happy to have you here with me today to learn how to make a non-toxic and natural, totally safe dishwashing detergent that you can put in your dishwasher. So this recipe comes from my book, Detox Your Home, which you can find on Amazon. And it contains more than 80 cleaning, laundry, bath, body, and beauty recipes that you can make at home on the cheap and that are natural and non-toxic. It also includes an entire section on, on how to start using real food in your daily life so that you can eat healthier and just be healthier overall. Now, why would you wanna make your own dishwashing detergent to begin with? Well, when you're buying products from the store, you're paying for mostly water. It's also ends up being not very eco-friendly because of the toxins that are in them and also the waste of continually buying more bottles. So when you make your own products at home, you can buy ingredients in bulk like you see here and just refill the bottles that you already have. This is much more eco-friendly, less wasteful, better for the environment. Also, it's better for your wallet. You're saving money. So I wanna teach you just a little bit about the toxins that you're gonna find in most dishwashing detergents. Now you're gonna find cleaning agents, artificial dyes, artificial fragrances, and sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach. So let's start with sodium hypochlorite, which is also known as bleach. So it is in a whole bunch of cleaning products and it is very effective in killing mold and mildew and germs. It is a disinfectant. However, it causes a lot of health problems. If you have any sort of lung issues like asthma or you have chronic allergies, get you get allergies every fall, um, in spring or just in the spring, you're gonna wanna stay away from bleach because it irritates your entire respiratory system. It's a very strong scent and it releases chlorine gas into the air when you use it in your home. So when you're using products on your dishes, you wanna keep in mind that trace amounts of whatever you're using are likely gonna be left on your dishes. So this is why it's so important to be using a natural dishwashing detergents, otherwise you're getting trace amounts of these toxins into your body every single day. And just a few times, your body would be able to detox those out. It would be able to get rid of them no problem. But the problem is that we eat off of our dishes at least two to three times a day, if not more. So this is where the toxins start to build up and accumulate in our bodies. And we start to find that we have autoimmune diseases like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, seasonal allergies, chronic colds and bronchitis, migraine headaches. There's so many autoimmune diseases that can come up because of these accumulated toxins in our bodies. And that's why I'm so passionate in teaching you through these videos and through my blog, through my book, about eliminating the toxins from your home so that you can be much healthier and have a safer, healthier home. So bleach can also cause vision damage, damage to the inside of your throat, your lungs, Anything it touches in our bodies is gonna cause damage. So you wanna stay away from products that include bleach. Also, dishwashing detergents contain artificial fragrances, and I've talked about these many times before, so if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm gonna say. The molecules of fake fragrances are bound together by particles of plastic, which are called phthalates. These phthalates are dispersed into the air, and we then breathe in those particles of plastic. As you might imagine, our bodies don't like to have plastic inside of us. It starts to irritate our respiratory systems, our lungs, our sinuses, everything starts to become irritated and confused. And again, it can lead to more frequent colds and bronchitis and sinus infections and you know respiratory illnesses, seasonal allergies, and things like that. So staying away from fake fragrances can be very good for your health. You can instead fragrance with essential oils. It's much safer and healthier. Another toxin that's in store-bought dishwashing detergents are artificial dyes. And these are completely useless. There's no point in having these in our products, but they are very toxic to aquatic life. They're not good to have in our products. They're also irritating to us. The last thing that's in a lot of dishwashing detergents that's toxic are cleaning agents. Now this is a very vague term. It's hard to know what exactly is in the product when it says cleaning agent in the ingredients list. If there even is an ingredients list, they're not required by the FDA to include an ingredients list because it's not a supplement or a food. But if there is an ingredients list and it says cleaning agent, you don't really know if it's toxic or not. Many of the cleaning agents in the products actually are toxic to aquatic life. And if you can imagine if they're hurting fish and hurting aquatic life, they're probably not all that great for us and they aren't. Some of the cleaning agents cause burns to the eyes and skin and vision damage. 
So you wanna be careful of that as well. So making your own at home, thankfully, is very easy, and I'm gonna show you how today. So you need a half a cup of hot water, and we're gonna put a tablespoon of kosher salt into the hot water. Now, it must be kosher salt. The thickness of the salt is important, as this is what's gonna help turn our dishwashing detergent into a gel, which just makes it easier to use. It's not totally necessary, of course, to make it clean well. You're gonna stir until it is completely dissolved. This is an important step to turn your dishwashing detergent into a gel. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of Dr. Bronner's Sal Suds. And this is the natural soap that cleans the dishes. And if you look this up on the ewg.org, it is a very safe and effective cleaner. You can use it all over your house and I have it in many recipes on my blog. So definitely make sure you Check out the links in the description box below. Now I wanna show you how this has already turned into a nice and thick gel. Can you see that the consistency is thicker than water? It's, it's turning into a nice thick gel. Now you're gonna add a half a cup of white distilled vinegar. This is what's gonna help get your dishes nice and shiny and clean. And really this is a natural non-toxic dishwashing rinse aid vinegar is. So you could eliminate this from the recipe and just double the soap in the water part and the salt. Just use soap in your soap container and just use vinegar as your rinse agent in the rinse compartment. So you could do that, that's another option for making this recipe. So we need a half a cup of vinegar which takes us to a cup and a half. And if you'd like to add, you can add three tablespoons of citric acid, and then you've got a dishwashing soap and dishwashing rinse aid in one. Like I said earlier, if you just wanna have just the soap and a separate dishwashing rinse aid, which probably is more effective in getting your dishes nice and clean and shiny, then use their citric acid and your vinegar just as a rinse aid. So I have found citric acid to be the secret ingredient and getting your dishes shiny and clean. Without it, this recipe just doesn't work all that well for me. I have tried it with and without the citric acid and the citric acid makes a huge difference. All right, now stir that together. And last, you wanna add one tablespoon of either lemon juice or 15 drops of lemon essential oil. Either one will do. I like to add both, though today I'm just gonna show you how to use the essential oil. All right, now stir that in. If you don't have these glass Pyrex measuring cups, I highly recommend them. Now we're gonna use a funnel and we're gonna pour it in. And I might have a little bit more than what this bottle can hold because I think it's a 15 ounce and not 16 ounce bottle. The soap starts to come out <laughs> and bubble out. So you can find these pretty labels in my Etsy shop, which is linked in the description box below this video. They're printable labels that you can reuse over and over and I have them printed on waterproof paper that I printed at home. So these squeeze bottles are really cool. I got them from Amazon. All right, so now that I've got the squeeze part on, I just screw this little part on, and they come in pretty colors. I have them in purple, pink, and then it has a top. So in your regular dishwasher, you're gonna need one to two tablespoons. Experiment, because if you have hard water, you may need to use the two full tablespoons. If you've got softer water, you may only need one tablespoon. So just play with it and see what your dishwasher needs. So there you have it. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Also, drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this recipe. Would you try it? Would you do a different combination of ingredients? What have you you tried at home before that has worked well let us know so we can all learn from you also make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you for being here with me today until next time bye